My name is Steve Almond, and I'd love to invite you to the class that I'm going to teach, Five Things I've Learned About Where Stories Come From. I should tell you that uh, like three decades ago, I left journalism to pursue a, an MFA in fiction. I knew where the money was. And I was obsessed with this idea back then that I was going to become a writer, capital W writer. I was sure that I had been summoned to the literary arts and that all of the hot words bubbling inside me were going to come pouring out of me in the form of scripture, essentially. That is not what happened at all. Instead, I spent many years writing self-indulgent dreck, and none of that dreck, fortunately, was ever published in the world, and rightfully. It took me a long time, but I eventually realized that it wasn't my destiny to be a capital W writer. What I wanted to be was actually a storyteller. Beyond my infatuation with language was this fundamental universal desire, compulsion even, to make sense of the world around me and especially the world inside of me. And this impulse has essentially guided my career. It's inspired me to write a dozen books, some of them fiction, some of them nonfiction, to write essays and reviews for all kinds of publications and magazines, to launch this podcast, Dear Sugars, with my pal Cheryl Strayed to work as a literary correspondent for NPR and host storytelling events for The Moth. And I've also become a teacher of writing. And what I've encountered as a teacher is this same yearning. Over and over, I encounter students who are arriving in class desperate to locate the stories that they're meant to tell, to pluck meaning from the rush of experience and to bear witness to their lives and honor their imaginations. That is not as easy as it sounds, it's certainly not as pretty the process as it sounds, because there are always deep psychological and emotional anxieties and inhibitions that hold us back from telling those stories. We fear, justifiably, that we're going to expose ourselves to readers, expose our loved ones, and really kind of unleash the chaos and pain that most of us carry in silence. If you're anything like me, you spend a lot of time looking in the wrong places for stories. In this class, we're going to talk about five emotional states that are really central engines of storytelling. Obsession, desire, doubt, rage, and mercy. Rage and mercy have to be these kind of tenant twins, I feel. And we're going to look at how these powerful emotional states show up in literature, and how they show up in our own lives. And this is my favorite part of the class. We're gonna try our hand at an in-class exercise that will allow us to learn by doing. I really hope you'll join me for our, this class and I'm super psyched to teach it. Again, it's called Five Things I've Learned About Where Stories Come From.